So we have this budget spreadsheet that has the actual and budget information for every month, one per sheet. Normally to combine this kind of a data, I would either manually copy paste things or use Power Query. But let me tell you a secret. I haven't been using Power Query or the manual methods to do this. That's right. I'm using a really simple formula to solve this problem. And that is the VStack formula. It is a new formula added to Excel for vertically stacking the data. So we write VStack open bracket and then go to the very first month, select the first cell and the last cell by holding the shift. So here I'm picking A2 to D26 range and then hold the shift and select the last sheet. Now my sheet reference is going to change to Jan to June and then the range reference becomes A2 to D26. These kind of references are called 3D references. That's right. And when you close the bracket and hit enter, we are going to get the entire budget data combined here in one go. I mean, how awesome is this? Now, let me share a few more tricks with you. Let's say if I want to add July budget, I can go here, add a sheet and then name it as July. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to copy April values and paste it into July. Now you can see that even after adding the July data, it's not added here. In fact, the reference still says Jan through June. So to make the whole VStack formula dynamic, here is a really simple trick. Add one more sheet and call this as start. Then add another sheet and then name this as end. And now move the end sheet all the way to the end. To make it easy for us to spot, I'm going to color these in this orange color here. So now every time I use the workbook, I want to keep my budget sheets in between the start and end. Then I'm going to take my July sheet and move it to the end here and come back to my VStack formula, delete it. And this time I'm going to say VStack. And as our data goes from A2 to D26, We'll just select it from Jan again and go all the way to the end. So it becomes Jan to end and replace the word Jan with start. So we are saying go from start to end and get everything from A2 to D26. When you hit enter, you're going to get this report again with all the data. But now what about these zeros? We can easily remove the zeros using a function like filter. So to remove the zeros, we can go back to the VStack formula and then use a function like let and create a variable like all underscore data and keep the VStack value into that all data. Now that we have the all data variable, I can use the filter function, filter all data. And then I want to check the very first column of all data. And if it is zero, that means we don't have a cost center ID and we can ignore that. So we can say choose columns of all data comma one. That's going to pick the very first column. So these zeros and CX216, etc. is not equal to zero. That's it. When you close and hit enter, you're going to get just the consolidated data without those zeros. The beautiful thing with this is if you add a new month. So for example, let's bring in August now. And again, this time I'm going to be lazy and copy the May data for August, paste it here. Right now, the August data is not going to be here because it's not between start and end. Let's make a note of how many rows is there. We're going from row number two all the way up to 176. Let's see what happens if I take this August and move it in between start and end, those two colored sheets. And when I go back here, my data goes up to row number 201. Again, just awesome, really. What do you think about this technique? Let me know in the comments. And if you do want to learn a bit more about this filter function, I've got a beautiful video on the channel for you. Check it out. It shows up on the screen. I'll catch you there. Bye.